Hello Caxton members, it's time for art again. This week we will need a couple of pieces of white paper, a permanent marker, a glue stick, some scissors and your coloured pencils. So we are going to dip our toes in water. So even though we can't go anywhere, if we're stuck inside, we can pretend we're at the beach. So the first thing I want you to do is take your permanent marker and draw a really wiggly line from one corner to the other. So that's a wiggly line diagonally across your paper. And remember, when you're using your permanent marker, use an old paper or a magazine or something like that underneath it because the permanent marker can sometimes go through and mark the surface you're working on. You don't want that to happen. So always have something like an old newspaper or magazine. And that is going to be the, the seashore. That's the sea coming in over the shore. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your marker again and draw some pebbles. So when you go to the beach, some beaches are nice and sandy, but lots of beaches in, in Britain are really stony. So we're going to do the stones because they look nice. So I just want you to draw all different sizes of stones to fit into the to that wiggly line. Yeah. So that is your beach here. If that's the beach, this bit here is going to be the sea. So you can draw another couple of wiggly lines to show the sea coming in. The sea is coming in over the shore. Next thing you do is you take your coloured pencils. And the reason they're good is you lean hard on coloured pencils, you get a darker shade and you can do, you can get a lot more colours and shades from your pens than you can with felt pens. I'd like you to do your shore with browns and yellows and greys. You just lean harder around the edges of your shapes if you want them. So lean, leaning harder to make it darker and, and do really light strokes to make it lighter just means you've got lots more sort of colour to play with and lots more different shades. So you want to make it darker at the edges, at these corners, and coming in to being lighter when it meets in the middle. So I've used yellow here, which is much lighter, and I've just used a very lightly uh, used my coloured pencil and I've left quite a lot of white on it as well. I've left these little half moon uh, cartoon kind of highlights on the stones and I've left white areas on the on the sea. Once you've done that <laughs> I want you to take your socks and shoes off and Take your pen or pencil, I used a pencil first, and draw around your foot. And it looks a bit funny like that, doesn't it? So once you've drawn your foot, you need to draw in your toes. So just draw some lines down for your toes and then draw in your toenails, which is good fun. And you don't need to draw the whole foot. You're only going to need some of it because you're going to just dip your toes into the water. Once you've done that, colour it in with your pencils again. I've given myself nice pinky red toes. Once you've done that, you cut out your foot with your scissors. So once you've cut your foot out, get your picture and decide where you might like to put your foot. <laughs> okay. You can take your glue and glue it down like that. And I'm going to cut off this bit that's hanging over my scissors. Just follow the line of the paper. <sighs> and there, <laughs> you can pretend you're at the beach and you're putting your toes into the water. <laughs> now you could draw the line across and put some some blue over that just to make it look more realistic. It's up to you. And I hope you all get to the seaside so you can actually do that for real. That'll properly cool you down, won't it? <laughs> so uh, have a good week and I'll see you next week. Bye.